What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Redditor Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have the ninth trip announcement for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today we have an absolutely amazing trip announcement for you guys. This is going to be a super, super special trip and I'm super, super excited to announce it to you guys. Thank you guys for being here today. I hope you guys are all on a fantastic day today. Today we have an absolutely outstanding trip announcement. Like I said, the ninth one as I also said and I'm super, super excited to get into it guys. Uh, before we get started with that, I just want to quickly recap uh, the eighth trip of the channel, if you will, the eighth trip announcement with the Dallas and Phoenix day trip. Just wanted to say that went super, super well. Was very pleased with the format of the trip announcement video, and I'm glad that you guys really liked it. The content will still be rolling for that all the way up throughout the summer, like I talked about on the channel update, and I'm really, really excited to keep debuting that as it's gone really, really well. So thank you guys all so, so, so much for the support on that. But nevertheless, we have a super, super exciting announcement today, guys. It is super awesome. Just wanna first and foremost address, if I'm kind of maybe a little all over the place with this video, I apologize because this literally was done yesterday and it's coming up um, less than two weeks. This will be uh, a week from this upcoming Friday when this video is coming out. This was. Uh, it definitely took me as I was surprised a little bit. I knew it was a possibility. I didn't think that was gonna happen and it happened. So yeah guys, as I'm sure you guys can see from the headline, Today we have the inaugural Breeze Airways flight into Tulsa day trip and I'm super, super excited to announce this. Um, I just feel very fortunate to be able to be in a position to do things like this and it's just a really, really exciting, uh, especially coming off uh, a global pandemic and still feeling the after effects and still going on with the pandemic to have an encouraging boost like this is just really really exciting so like i said guys this uh the main headline of this trip will be the breeze airways inaugural flight into tulsa international airport and i'm super super excited to announce it i'll go over all the content first or rather i should say all the material the flights, the layovers, and all that fun stuff first. And then I'll kind of explain what to expect with everything from this trip. So without further delay, everybody, let's announce the trip. So we will be doing this on June 4th, 2021 is the inaugural Breeze Airways Day at Tulsa International Airport. And I'm very, very excited for it. On May 21st, 2021, Breeze Airways announced their inaugural 49 new flights and I believe 15 or 16 cities. Uh, we were very excited to see them and they finally came and uh, to my surprise a little bit I knew it was a possibility, but I didn't know if it was gonna happen Tulsa International Airport will be one of the launch destinations for Breeze Airways, which is super super exciting uh, Tulsa is in a very awesome situation if I had to be honest I'm super super excited to see what comes of this uh, I may do a whole separate video on Breeze Airways at Tulsa by itself because we haven't had a new airline since Frontier Airlines returned back in 2018. Well, Vita Air came that year too, but they're kind of gone at this point. So it's been a while since we have a new airline is kind of my point here. And I'm really, really excited for what's to come. So yeah, guys, let's announce everything. Let's get it rolling. So like I was saying, Breeze is starting three brand new services from Tulsa International Airport to Tampa International Airport, New Orleans International Airport, and also San Antonio International Airport. The inaugural flight, if you will, will be the Tampa service on June 4th, 2021, which is really interesting because that's early, quite earlier than some of the other destinations. So I'm really, really excited to see this launch. So I thought it would be an absolutely outstanding idea, especially for the price that I was able to do that, to do the inaugural outbound flight from Tulsa International Airport on Breeze Airways. So I'll kind of explain why I decided to do the outbound flight and everything right now, and then I'll talk about the format of the content. So Breeze, um, they're gonna be doing a really interesting schedule at Tulsa International Airport. So first and foremost, they're gonna be doing uh, the Tampa turn, it will be, uh, Sorry, it will be a Tulsa turn from Tampa, I should say. That's the better way to word it. So the plane's gonna come in from Tampa and then go back to Tampa as expected. I'll talk about the New Orleans and San Antonio flight in a little bit, but pretty much the, what I'm trying to say here is the New Orleans, or sorry, Tampa flight comes in and then goes back. So to get... I wanna word it, the inbound is um, I looked at times immediately once it was announced and for June 4th, which is the inaugural day, and the outbound leads to Tampa at 7.30 a.m. So I knew that wasn't gonna be possible unless we did some sort of last minute trip as a, uh, like me and my mom or something. So I was like, 
why don't we do the next best thing and take the outbound flight? And it kind of works well, out really well anyways because I really want to see at Tulsa International Airport what all they're going to have for gate activities and all that sort of thing because I know they're going to be celebrating it because it's a brand new airline and everything. And then hopefully a water cannon salute and all that fun stuff. So honestly, I'm not going to complain too much with the outbound inaugural flight for Breeze Airways out of Tulsa International Airport. So let's announce this trip, everybody. June 4th, 2021 is when everything will be taking place. Very, very exciting so um, I will be getting to Tulsa International Airport and we'll be doing another check-in vlog at around the uh, probably the 7:45 8 a.m. hour somewhere around that range and get in Tulsa International Airport nice and early so we can get to see all the inaugural festies for um, Breeze at Tulsa International Airport um, I would assume that something's gonna get going on because the uh, Tulsa Instagram page actually commented on my Instagram post. So I'm assuming, and from their advertising, they are very, very excited for this. So I have to think something's gonna be going on in two weeks at Tulsa International Airport. So I definitely wanna be there to uh, witness that. And overall, just have a fun time at Tulsa International Airport, do some plane spotting in the meantime, and get ready for our first flight of this trip. So we'll be doing our check-in vlog, like I said, and then we'll be doing Breeze Airways, the inaugural outbound flight out of Tulsa International Airport, the first takeoff ever from Tulsa International Airport on Breeze Airways, I will be able to be a part of. Breeze Airways, it will be operated on the Ember ERJ-195. It will be on the 195, I was a little surprised about that, but they are gonna do the Ember 195, which is very exciting. I think it's a former Azul aircraft, but I'll have to check on that. I believe they have two in the fleet right now, two or three, something like that, as of recording. Breeze Airways Flight 107 from Tulsa International Airport to Tampa International Airport, 9.45 a.m. to 11, or sorry, 1.10 p.m. Eastern Time. And I will be seated as of right now, currently in seat 9D, which by the Breeze website, that is a nicer seat. So Breeze kind of has an interesting title for how they're doing their seat advertising. They have a nice section, which is all the normal seats. And then they have a nice earth section on the Ember Air J-195, which consists of quite a bit of the aircraft with, I believe it's more leg room, but I'll have to do kind of like what Avello is doing with different types of seat configurations and that sort of thing. So uh, 9D is a nicer seat. But the reason I decided to select 9D is because if you want to reserve a seat on Breeze before the flight, you have to pay at least $10 for a nice seat. Uh, which is any of them. So I was like, if I'm already paying $10, why don't I pay, uh, in this case, it was $20 for the seat I wanted right in front of the engine to get a really nice engine wing view combo. So I thought that 9D would be a perfect seat. I'll do eight or 9D, one or the other. Looking at the seat maps, and I couldn't find anything about these former Azul aircraft in terms of wing view, but I think eight or nine will be the best place for the engine wing view combo, but we'll just have to see. So I'm really, really excited about the 9D nicer seat. And then the total price for this, if you were wondering, was this ticket was $65. And the normal fare with the base fare and the tax and everything was $45. And then the nicer seat to reserve that was $20, but I was already gonna be paying $10 to reserve a seat. And I obviously really wanted the window. So I thought, why don't I pay $20 and get a nice, nice, or you know, the, the nice view. And on top of that, some extra leg room, if I was already paying that anyways. And then um, I got $5 for making an account on Breeze Airways. So I only paid $60 total and then I got the free $5 for signing up. So $60 in turn for the inaugural Breeze Airways flight. I'm really excited. Um, if you really wanted to be as low as possible, it could have been $45. But uh, just some a few notes about Breeze during my booking process. I'll talk about this more in the trip report and everything, but I thought I'd at least mention it now. It was a very clean experience. I had absolutely no issues. It was very quick. That's the point. I'll talk about this more in their trip port, but Breeze is very much about convenience and just overall quickness. And they definitely put that on display. It took me about 10 minutes to reserve this flight, which was outstanding. Uh, so they gave me the seat options was the first thing. So I did that. And then they also had an area, they give you one personal item to bring on board. And then if you want to do anything else, you have to pay for it. So and I highly recommend doing it online because from the emails I'm re reading, and I'll talk about more in their trip report, like with everything else, it's very expensive to do it at the airport. So make sure you have all your stuff done online if you're flying breeze. And ultimately just a really nice set in stone uh, itinerary that they gave. I was very pleased with that. Um, like I said, it was a very flawless experience. I think I just put my credit card in and that was it. So it really went quick and I was very pleased with it. 
I'm so excited for the inaugural Breeze Airways flight out of Tulsa International Airport. I'll definitely be getting there early. And uh, I think I'll probably do just a full footage video of the Breeze Air Airways festees at Tulsa International Airport, but I'll probably feature a decent chunk of it in the check-in vlog. So we'll have the check-in vlog, and then, sorry, check-in vlog. And then this Breeze Airways Embraer 195 trip for Tulsa to Tampa inaugural flight. And then we'll have the takeoff video, the landing video. I'll talk about that more in a second. And then also the um, probably a pushback video if I have that good of a wing view with the engine. If it sound, if it turns out really good, I'll definitely do a pushback and engine start video. And then maybe a taxi in video. I'm not sure. I also wanted to mention. Um, can, I know in the last trip announcement, I didn't have it at the time, but during that time and when I decided to start rolling out the content, I thought it'd be a great idea to start doing takeoff and landing videos for all the flights. And that was voted upon and upon you guys in the channel update on the Google form. And we started doing that and that was great. Uh, it seemed like you guys enjoyed that. So I'm glad I was able to do that. And we'll also be doing some other in-flight footage content. Um, I got a lot more footage than what I anticipated. So I definitely wanted to put it on display. Uh, for the American A321 trip report, I'll be doing a pushback and engine start video for that. So uh, we'll have the check-in vlog, the trip report for Breeze Airways Ember 195, and then we'll have a takeoff land video and landing takeoff and landing video for sure, but potentially a pushback and engine start video along with maybe another taxi and video at Tampa or something like that. If there's any more etched to content, I almost certainly do that. So like I said, I'm super excited for the Breeze Airways inaugural flight from Tulsa International Airport, June 4th, 2021. It's going to be absolutely awesome. The flight's filling up quick. I think there's already 20 seats occupied, which is absolutely awesome. And I just have to say from initial impression, and I'll talk about more in their trip report and all the Breeze Airways stuff i was very very impressed uh with the complete ui and like i said 60 dollars that is awesome for a non-stop flight to tampa time was really good in my opinion and i know it kind of varies per these uh 15 cities but uh this was definitely a very perfect option and i was really really pleased with it so breeze airways massive thumbs up definitely on the convenience side and i had no issues i didn't have to call i didn't have to refresh the app i did it through the app and you can do it online as well just a really great experience so breeze airways massive thumbs up that was absolutely awesome very pleased with that so breeze thank you so much so i'm super excited guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you guys want to see any other content please let me know uh, from the breeze airways itself um, i've considered expediting the trip port right after the trip happens uh, I'm not sure if I'll do that or if I'll upload it in line. So let all the other trip ports come out first from the Dallas and Phoenix day trip and then this one. I have not decided. Maybe I'll do the Festees video early. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. But I'm super, super excited for it and I hope you guys are as well. It's going to be absolutely awesome and I'm going to be super, super excited to bring you guys along for the inaugural Breeze Airways flight out of Tulsa International Airport, um, which is absolutely exciting. I'll talk more about Breeze in the future. I potentially want to do the inaugural flights to San Antonio and New Orleans too, if it's possible. I don't know yet. It's a little far in advance. But we'll see. Those are in mid-July. So we'll talk about that more in the future. But Breeze, I'm super excited. Uh, maybe David Millman shows up. I mean, who knows? You never know. I doubt that's going to happen, but maybe so. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Hopefully the microphone isn't cutting out too bad. I'm going to have to find a workaround because that's not going to cut it for these videos. But anyways, I'm super, super excited. That will put us in Tampa, like I said, at 1.10 p.m. And I'm really, really excited. So... Uh, I believe Breeze, I could be wrong, but I believe they park on Airside 3 on the northeast side of the airport. I'm not too familiar with Tampa yet, but I will be by the time I make this flight. And I'm really, really exciting. So I think what my plan is going to be is I have a 1.10 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. layover essentially, but there's going to be time cut into that due to the uh, boarding and I'm going to have to re-clear security to get to my next airline. So I think what my plan is right now is I'm going to have to keep figuring out uh, that is kind of toplet territory for Tampa at 1 p.m. to when I'm going to be able to spot through, which is probably going to be around 2.45 p.m. or so. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. It may even be a little earlier than that, um, 2.20 or so. So I'm planning on doing an hour of spotting at Tampa, and I'll probably do it from Airside 3 Northeast because uh, that's the sun's going to be. Uh, I'm trying to think of how to do Let me put the graphic on the screen. Here's Tampa Airport. The sun's going to be. Uh, leaning over into the um, onto the other side of the airport, if you will, back over towards the west. So the lighting is going to be in favor of the runway on the other side. So I plan on doing a about an hour, hour and a half of spotting from Airside 3 Northeast if there's no tinted window issues at Tampa International Airport, where uh, pro, somewhere in that Airside 3 concourse, wherever I can find the best place. So that is my plan for terminal spotting, and that will be a layover vlog. Tampa layover vlog will be coming too. I forgot to mention that. 
and I will feature the um, recheck in because as I'm sure you guys saw, I'm gonna be flying American Airlines back to Tulsa on day trip. So I will probably feature the um, the check-in for American and also the reach security in the Tampa Leo vlog because that's essentially what it is. So I'll feature it in that video and that'll be super, super exciting to witness Tampa for the first time. I've never been to Tampa in my, to my knowledge. So I'm super, super excited to see what Tampa's all about. There's gonna be a bunch of fun plane spotting to do at Tampa. I know they get all kinds of really cool aircraft, lots of cargo, I think. So that's gonna be awesome. Of course, Breeze, lots of low cost stuff. They have a bunch of spear. JetBlue, I know American Southwest uh, United has a lot of flights. I think Delta has quite a few. So there's a lot of exciting stuff at Tampa International Airport. Uh, Silver, Silver I think has quite a few flights. So Tampa is going to be really fun. I'm really excited. Hopefully we get a good weather day. I can't do much about the inaugural. If the day is bad, it is what it is but I'm really excited. I'm gonna be doing more research on Tampa. Uh, if you guys know any better place I could spot at Tampa, please let me know. I know there's a parking garage at Tampa that's really good. I'm not sure if you have to have a vehicle to get up there, more so if I would have the adequate time to do that. But um, I'm really excited for the Tampa layover. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. Please let me know if there's anything I should do during the Tampa layover that would be possible. And I'm really, really excited for Tampa. We'll do some sort of lunch and something. So gonna be really fun. I'm super, super excited for the Tampa layover and that will be awesome. And then I'll go over to Airside 3, the Southeast one, or sorry, Southwest one, the Southeast, the Southwest Concourse, not Southwest Airlines, but the Southwest Concourse where American Airlines parks. I'll recheck through security because I believe you have to do that uh, air side to air side and get ready for my American Airlines return flights uh, back to Tulsa. Uh, I decided to do American Airlines because number one, it was mainly just because the deal was really good. Uh, my mom had some leftover miles and I had some too. So we combined those and I got a really good return for 10,000 miles, which is not very much. Uh, it's a fair amount, but not too bad at all. I think the lowest you can find one way flights is like 7.5. So 10K for a return flight was really good. And on top of that, there was some decent stuff out of Tampa, but there was nothing I was absolutely crazy about. There were some decent Southwest options, decent United options, but the money, Southwest had one option for $85 that was decent, but it was a through flight through Dallas Love Field, I think. Uh, United was $300 for our Max 9. So I decided to stick with American and go with this because there was there was one flight, I liked both the flights. And on top of that, like I said, the price was good. And then I didn't even have much time to research at all. I didn't want, uh, the American Airlines website when I was doing this was actually glitching out really bad for me. So I was only, I was just really trying to get something done so I didn't have to get screwed out of um, doing the inaugural Breeze Airways flight. But luckily I do have an American Airlines reservation on the return flight to get back to Tulsa National Airport. This American Airlines return flight is two legs and is really exciting. 3.45 p.m., like I said, that's gonna be our departure time out of Tampa International Airport. It will be on American Airlines, Airbus E321. This is layout number one on seat group. I don't know if this is either, it's either going to be the Oasis cabin or it's an American Airlines A321 with sharklets. I don't know how much they vary, but there's got to be some sort of difference because I flew layout number two on my American Airlines A321 LUS flight back in February, and that was layout two on Seagru. And this is a different layout, which it's layout one on Seagru. And obviously that was a fence tip aircraft. So I'm not sure if that was the old cabin and now we have Oasis, or if that was the uh, fence tip configuration for the A321s, and this is the Sharklet, because I know they do a lot of Sharklets between Tulsa and Tampa, usually. So it's either gonna be the Sharklet, or it's Oasis, or it's both, I don't know. It could be a fence tip and Oasis, I honestly have no idea. If anybody knows, let me know. This flight number is uh, has not been used in a while, so I can't track it by that. And I don't know what the situation is with uh, Seat Guru telling me. It's the one with three main, it starts with the eight row on main cabin extra. The other one starts with row seven on main cabin extra. This one starts with row eight. Sorry, main cabin extra on the other layout is five through eight. And this main cabin extra starts on row eight on layout one on Seat Guru. So honestly, I have no idea. If anybody knows, please let me know. But nevertheless, I'm really excited. I really hope it is a sharklet. I would be fine with the fence tip, but I have never been on American A321 with sharklets. So I'd absolutely love to do that. So hopefully this is that opportunity. And on top of that, I hope it's the old cabin. If it is, I honestly don't know. It's probably Oasis, but what can you do? American Airlines Airbus A321 seat grew layout number one, American Airlines flight 1426, Tampa International Airport to Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. We are going back to Dallas. I'm very excited. We'll talk about that more in a second. 
uh, 3.45 p.m. to 5.28 p.m. And I'm currently seating in C14F, which is a main cabin extra seat. That is uh, another really nice engine wing view combo. Now, the reason I decided to do main cabin extra, uh, it was a $28 upgrade. I didn't want to keep paying money, but the reason I did that was because all the middle stuff for main cabin was gone. Every window seat to row 30 was out. It was gone. So I had a couple options. I could either sit in the very back and have a, uh, in my opinion, not the best wing view, or I could pay up and move up and get a nice engine wing view combo because there's still quite a few main cabin extra seats available. So that's what I decided to do. Uh, especially if there's a shark lip there, I'm really going to be excited for that. Like I said, I don't know what seat grooves uh, meaning by configuration, or sorry, layout number one. Hopefully it's a shark lip, but if not, a fence tip will most certainly do. And I'm really excited, like I said. Uh, it's going to be a great flight with American Airlines. Uh, like I said, I, I know I keep saying it, but hoping, hoping it's a shark lip to expand on the uh, variety of my uh, flying, but I will most certainly take a fence tip, whether it's IAE, CFM, or maybe we get an upgrade. I know uh, Tampa has a lot of 737s typically, so I don't know. Maybe we get changed. I honestly don't know. But nevertheless, I'm really, really excited for it. It's going to be a, another great flight with American Airlines. And if anybody knows about the layout with seat group, please let me know. It's probably Oasis is cabin number one and layout, no, sorry, layout number one and layout number two is probably the old configuration. I honestly don't know. So if anybody does, please let me know. But I'm really, really excited for that. And that will put us back in Dallas for Worth International Airport, which I'm really excited about. Dallas is absolutely awesome. I um, will be going through Dallas even more during the summer. That's all I'm gonna say about the summer trip. I will be going through Dallas again. But this will be another Dallas trip, and I honestly never get bored of it. So personally, for my desires, I'm very excited. And it's going to be another great link with American Airlines, like I was saying. So uh, this will put us in Dallas from 5.30 p.m. to 8.50 p.m. Uh, and we're going to have to give some time for boarding you know, along with dinner and all that fun stuff. But we should be able to do some really great plane spotting. Also, for the American Airlines flight, trip report, takeoff and landing and uh, potentially a pushback video, maybe a taxi in and all that sort of thing. Taxi out. Uh, let me know if you guys wanna see those in-flight clips. Typically, I uh, do the takeoff and landing because that's kind of the big one. And then uh, I would not uh, be opposed to doing taxi in and outs uh, and anything else, maybe a cruising video. I would be fine with doing any of that. So if you guys wanna see anything particular from the in-flight footage, it's just more content to work with. Uh, if you guys think that it's, um, already captured great in the trip port. Trip port, the purpose of that, or kind of how I outline that is I condense everything into a nice, perfect 15 to 25 minute video. But I really enjoyed the footage part of it, especially on takeoff and landings. So I would be more than happy to keep doing footage videos. So let me know if you guys would like to see any particular footage videos from the aircraft. That goes for Breeze as well. Uh, but Dallas, that'll put us back from uh, 5.30 to, uh, we'll probably be able to do quite a bit of plane spotting up into about 7.30, which will be golden hour. Uh, I'm hoping the weather's good. I, it's been raining every day here for the last two weeks uh, in the south, the, uh, the south region of the United States. So, or you know, the, the south Midwest, it's been raining every day. So, I mean, I honestly really hope that June 4th, we get some, uh, some luck. Um, but we'll just have to see. Um, I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying. I can't do much more than pray at this point. So yeah, like I said, it's gonna put us back in Dallas. Hopefully the weather is good. Um, I'm really excited for even more plane spotting. I gotta get another SD card ordered or SIM card, whichever one it is for DSLRs because mine is filling up quick. So I definitely gotta get me another SIM card and I'm really excited. Like I said, uh, DFW layover vlog will be awesome. And also on top of that, another idea, we could do full, um, footage videos of these now the layover vlogs i don't get as much footage because i'm so orientated on the pictures but i'd be more than happy to do uh just full on like kind of just plain spotting if you guys want to see that with no narration all that if you guys want to see videos like that let me know um but if you guys have any ideas for any content you guys want to see at these airports please let me know and i most certainly can do that so dallas layover vlog another one's going to be awesome i'm really really excited and i hope you guys are too and that will put us on to our final flight of the day, which will be our third and final, pardon me, 
This will be American Airlines. This will be really unique flight. I chose this one because I thought uh, the route and aircraft combo was very unique. It's the first time they're going to they're gonna be doing this. And the miles worked out well. Um, this was kind of the perfect time slot because it wasn't too early leaving Dallas, but it wasn't getting back to Tulsa too late. So I was a big fan of this flight. I've been on this flight number five or six times now. So I'm really excited. This is American Airlines flight 1446 again. You guys may recognize that one. It was the 319 flight back on the last day trip. Uh, we took it in 2018 with the MD-80 um, in August of 2018. Uh, I think we took it a couple other times too, but uh, this is for sure my third time, probably more. I think it's my fourth or fifth. Flight 1446 again, Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport to Tulsa International Airport, and it will be on the Airbus A320. Like I was saying in the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport update for April 2021, American Airlines released their full summer schedule for June, July, and the first half of August of 2021, and man, it is unique. Uh, Dallas-Fort Worth particularly will be getting a lot of LUS or Lust Bus American Airlines aircraft, uh, particularly the Airbus A320 that will be flying to cities that it never has before, like Pensacola and Tulsa and I believe it's going to Destin a lot. It should be going to Oklahoma City. I believe they're doing like Kansas City too. I think Myrtle Beach, Savannah. So they're doing some really interesting stuff with the A320. Now, American Airlines never regularly flew the Airbus A320 into Tulsa International Airport. They were planning to before the pandemic in May of 2020 on the Charlotte service to complement the 737 overnight. Uh, but that never happened. So now they're gonna be flying the A320. Uh, and this is gonna knock out, I believe the last uh, narrow body aircraft in American's fleet besides the MAX to regularly fly in Tulsa. So this will be going on for the whole summer. And I thought it would just be unique because like I said, Americans never flew the A320 in the Tulsa regularly, more so on uh, American Legacy Hub. So I thought that was just really, really unique. So, um, and then I've flown a ton of uh, 737s and E319. I don't have a problem with them. In fact, I'm excited to fly more of them in my summer trip. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I gotta stop hinting at that. But um, I thought that would be great to get another A320. I believe this is my fourth one. I flew one in 2017 from Charlotte to Chicago, and then I flew two in 2018. One from uh, Char uh, sorry, Charlotte to Dol or Reagan, and another one from Reagan to Dallas. So this will be my fourth one. And I am most certainly really, really excited for it. Trip port, take off and landing, and then potentially a pushback video. I'm currently, oh yeah, sorry, I didn't get to finish all of it. 8.50 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then I'm currently in seat 7F, which is a normal main cabin seat. That's a really nice one behind the wing. I had a similar one on the 2017 flight and then the other two I paid up for main cabin extra. Uh, so I think I'll stick with 17. Um, most of the seats out there, I think we're already occupied anyway. So yeah, guys, I am super, super excited. And then and then, of course, we'll have the outro vlog. Uh, we haven't done one of those yet uh, on the channel, but I'm excited to start with that first one from the uh, Dallas and Phoenix day trip. So this will be titled as the Breeze Airways inaugural slash Tampa and Dallas day trip, which I'm really, really excited about. Like I said, uh, I got that for 10K miles on American, which I thought was a really good deal. And I was saying with the other airlines, uh, I probably could have mustered out something with like Spirit back or something through Dallas, which probably would have been a good deal. But ultimately, I decided with how good the mile deal was and getting two more American Airbuses. Why don't we do American again? And uh, I'm really excited to say that um, hopefully we'll be getting more airlines this summer and more trips. I currently have. Uh, let me see if I can hold these up. Um, I kind of have them written. Between these two pages, I have multiple day trip proposals, the prices, the pros and cons and all of that. So I'm currently trying to make a decision and hopefully I can at least do one more day trip this summer, but I'd like to do two or three. And that will also be along with the summer trip. I, it's really good guys, that's all I can say about that. I'm really excited to announce that and that will be coming very soon. Uh, so we'll recap everything in a moment, but I just wanna go over some uh, other things. Of course, we'll be doing the precautions, we'll have the mask, we'll be washing hands and all that fun stuff. And hopefully we'll be able to stay safe. Um, I'm a little paranoid probably after having mono again. So hopefully I don't get sick again, but what can you do? Um, hopefully uh, we'll be in good shape. I'll be really eager to see how Breeze goes about the precautions and it's gonna be very interesting. So I'm uh, really eager to see this. So we have that. And then the equipment, um, this will be the little guy doing everything, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, I did an excellent job as I'm sure you guys saw on the Dallas and Phoenix day trip. It covered all the content, 
all right here, just right here, this whole device right here was able to do everything. And then of course the DSLR did some of the thumbnails, but that was about it. Uh, and then it takes the pictures. So that's the purpose of DSLR. But the iPhone will be foot doing all the footage and I'm really excited. If you guys have any ideas, I don't know if I got an external microphone to hook in, if that would work well. Uh, I, th I think the microphone on the 12 Pro Max is pretty good. So I'm excited to rock with this and it's gonna do a great job once again. So great job to the iPhone and I'm really excited about that. Um, our, I did explain why American was the choice here simply because uh, the deal is really good and the aircraft combo I was a big fan of. I always loved going to Dallas, so I was a big fan of that. So that was most certainly why I chose American. And now I did want to talk about some of the other trips. Uh, the Delta situation, if you didn't know, I had to cancel my Delta Day trip that was supposed to be on May 18th, which was uh, last Tuesday. Due to being ill with mono, it was most certainly a very unfortunate go at it. But uh, we had to do what we had to do. It was really good. I'll, re I'll reveal it at some point. I may talk about it in a live stream or something, what the combo was. Uh, there was two heavies and uh, two 717s. It was a really good combo. Unfortunately, just had to cancel it. So I do have my $428 voucher on Delta that expires in a year. So I can most certainly use that. Uh, the reason I'm a little discouraged with that is because Delta uh, doesn't have many, near as many heavies as they had earlier this year and into May on domestic flights. I really wanna fly Delta. The Delta heavies were really awesome. I do wanna do a 757 day trip of sorts, but um, it's just hard to decide what I wanna do there. So um, I have been looking around at stuff, just can't find anything good. So I'm patiently waiting. Uh, worst case, I'll probably just do some sort of 757 day trip when the weather's nice in Florida in uh, the fall or into the winter. And if I can find some sort of heavy deal, I will definitely take it. That's adequate, that's really good. But uh, yeah, uh, Delta Voucher is here. And then the family trip, like I said, it is really good and it's coming up very soon. I'm really, really excited for it and I hope you guys are too. I'll announce that when we get closer, probably towards the end of June or so, I'll give a little bit more notice for that one because that's gonna be a longer trip. It will definitely affect the channel a little bit because it is a week long. So um, I'm gonna have to pre-record or do something. So that is where we're at on that. And then day trips, like I talked about, I have multiple proposals that are really good. So. Uh, I'll keep you guys informed on those. I'm trying to get some really, really good stuff for the money. Um, particularly right now looking at United stuff. And I also have some low cost stuff along with Southwest there. And then Delta, I just have a question mark by because I'm, like I said, I'm a little discouraged with that situation. And then the content schedule, like I said, we'll kind of completely recap everything. Breeze Airways Ember EarJ195 inaugural flight on June 4, 2021 from Tulsa International Airport to Tampa International Airport, 9.45 a.m. to 1.10 p.m. and seat 90, which is a nicer seat, and got it for $65 and I paid $60. Got the Tampa layover from 1.10 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. And we got the American Airlines Airbus A321 layout one according to seat group, flight 1426, Tampa International Airport, Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, 3.45 p.m. to 5.30 p.m., 14F, main cabin extra, and really, really excited for that. And we have the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport layover from 5.30 p.m. to 8.50 p.m. American Airlines Airbus A320 flight 1446, Dallas Fort Worth International Airport to Tulsa International, 8.50 p.m. to 10 p.m. and 17F main cabin. Really, really excited guys. I hope you guys are. I will conclude this video because I uh, definitely, I ran a little bit longer than I, I was expecting it to. But we have a lot of awesome stuff, a lot of great content on the way. I really hope you guys are excited for it. Please comment if you have any uh, feedback or anything. I know I asked a couple questions throughout this video. So if you know any answers to those, please let me know. Uh, Tampa stuff, especially, I'm not the most familiar with Tampa. So if you guys have any recommendations, I know that parking garage, like I said, would probably be a great place to spot. I simply don't know if I would have the time to do it. And then also, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure you have to re clear security, but if I'm wrong on that, please let me know. And I'm really excited for Tampa. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. Dallas, I kind of got the hang of, and I'm really excited to go back. And uh, yeah, I uh, may have to do a whole nother video on just the Breeze experience in general because it was really good. And I'm super, super excited for this day trip, everybody. It's gonna be awesome. June 4th, 2021, gonna be an awesome day. Feel free to check, track my flights if you'd like to. Um, you can tag me on an Instagram story and uh, at my account, Red Dirt Aviation, and I'll be sure to give you a shout out on there. You can do anything on Twitter as well or anywhere else that I may be on, uh, you can do that. I don't think I'm on anywhere else, um, but yeah. And then, uh, of course, YouTube, if you want to, I don't think you can comment pictures.
But yeah, like I said, guys, it's going to be absolutely awesome. And I'm super, super, super excited for what's to come. So like I said, thank you guys so much for watching this trip announcement. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited for all the content to come. We're currently rolling through the Dallas and Phoenix day trip stuff. And we're going to be rolling through that through August. So we do have a little bit of time on that. And I hope you guys are excited. Uh, every leg is really good and everything's turned out really well to this point. I'm really, really excited to keep debuting that content on the channel. And then we have this content coming up. Let me know if you guys really would like to see that Breeze Airways trip port expedited i'm considering it um but i'm honestly not sure it's a really hard uh, compromise to make so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it really excited for the trip it's gonna be absolutely awesome and i'm super super excited to take you guys along with me on the breeze airways inaugural uh day trip thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time as radio aviation is signing off